Hey everybody, welcome back to Homestead and Horsepower. Today we're going to be doing a little work in the garden, getting it ready, getting it dissed up and ready to plant. Uh, first we're going to check on the chicks, feed them, see how everything is going with them and, and let y'all see just how much they've, they've grown. They have really, really taken off. It don't take long for them to grow. But, uh, I've got this chick starter food here. This probably be the last bag of this I buy. I will uh, be probably just feeding them high protein stuff for laying type pellets after this bag is gone. Like I say, as y'all should see here in just a second, they have really, really taken off. Yeah, here they are. It's, uh, they they about doubled in size from the time I put them in here. And from the last, as you see, I got me a, a spring up on the door now. I remember my wife putting these chickens in here. They like to get away from us. The door tried to come open. But, uh, but yeah, they've, they've really grown, doing good. We've lost two so far. We lost that one with the right neck. And then we had that one that when we put them in the coop here, in the run, it was acting, acting sluggish, acting like it was kind of sickly, and it was dead the next morning when we came out. So, so yeah, there's a. Uh, other than that, they're doing great, and doing really good and growing like growing like weeds, and uh, it's really. I let the other chickens free range. They just kind of go wherever. I don't even know where they're at now. There's one ling I see a couple in the front yard now, but, uh, but yeah, they, they come around the coop and that's getting them adjusted to each other because they will try to kill them if they can get to them. So by the time these chickens get to be full size, uh, they should be acclimated with the, with the older, with the older chickens. And shouldn't have much of a problem. We'll let them work out their pecking order and try to keep an eye on them and see if there's any any bullying going on or anything like that. But uh, nature has a way of working everything out like that. I'm gonna have to get bigger. I'm gonna have to get bigger feeders. This is made for the little chicks and you get me a couple big big ones. But y'all stay tuned and uh, we're gonna pull the tractor out and get started dissing up the garden. close one. I swear to this, this thing fell off my tractor. As you just saw in the video and this we caught it there and caught it on the corner right there, a little shiny spot. But it still works. It busted glass. It's my lucky day.
I think that'll do. We'll go get the fertilizer and lime. I'm gonna put these chickens up in the, in the coop there just to keep them from getting in my way, I guess. I don't want them eating that stuff either, so. We will go get the fertilizer lime in the spreader. I got a little walk behind the spreader, gonna take a little bit, but uh, we'll get it put out. Watch out, chickens. Seed in the back of the truck. This is gonna be my little spreader I use. Well, this I'd like to get one for the back of my tractor. I just hadn't done it yet, but for the size of this garden here, it ought to work. It'll do fine. Just have to make a few more trips. So. Anyway, let's get this stuff put out. The kind of lime I'm using is uh, pelletized lawn lime. Uh, I say you it don't really matter. It's all the same. It's just you can get it in like a real fine powder, and you can get it pelletized. Pelletized is the way to do it. It's easier to put out, especially on a garden where I don't have any other way of putting it out. It's cleaner. So, and uh, the fertilizer we putting out is just some stuff they had at the local store. It's triple twelve, and. That's the ingredient, so I'm gonna put out about four bags of that. I may only put out three bags of fertilizer. But we'll see, let's get going. is it oh man all right that's all the lime and all the fertilizer and i think what i'm going to do is you can see you can see the fertilizer got it down Pretty even layer all through the garden. The lime is brown. You're really not gonna see it in the dirt all that well on camera. Uh, but I think since I free range the chickens, I think that I'm gonna run over with the tractor. I'm not gonna bury it real deep. You know, the lime stuff is on the, it's on the garden now, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and run over with, with the disc and just in case chickens try to eat it. The lime, it shouldn't hurt them. It's a garden lime. It's, it shouldn't hurt them to, if they do find something needed. Fertilizer, no more than what they'll find out here once I bury it. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna run back over it with the tractor and just put a little bit of layer, just put a little layer of dirt over top of it. I think that'll be all we need. All right, I came back in with the tractor thought I was recording, but something happened to me and I wasn't. But I decided to go this way, run the disc this way, because we're slightly downhill toward the back of the property. And if it really rains hard, it can water can really th flow through it. So I wanted to be able to make these roads where it kind of hold the water and uh, make, it, uh, make it absorb into the ground a little better. But I've got a lot of it covered up because like we got one chicken here that's out here looking around eating worms and would probably eat a little bit of the lime and fertilizer out here but I've got it to where it's covered up enough that uh, it's, it's not going to hurt them. But uh, I'd rather have left it over on top of the ground but to be safe. I put a little, a little layer of dirt on it and it's going to rain. This is the Monday after Easter. So it's going to rain Wednesday or Thursday. So hopefully get a good rain and, and get that fertilizer line absorbed into the ground. And after that, it'll be about two weeks. I'll let it sit for about two weeks. I'll come back with my tiller. We'll till it up and that'll be whenever we plant. Ideally, I'd have liked to have done this about two months ago. 
I just, I didn't make time to do it. So, but this will work. And so in a couple of weeks, we'll have another video of us tilling and, and planting our garden. And appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.